four technical universities are on a mission. Students and professors are studying, working, contributing to make the energy transition possible. This is their story. The big challenge we have at the moment in terms of how we're going to um, deliver the amount of wind power capacity that we need, particularly offshore, the 75 gigawatts that the Netherlands is aiming for in the next few decades, is upscaling. The Dutch government wants more offshore wind energy and for this you need uh, larger wind farms and the larger wind farms involves a lot of uh, computational work. The size of the wind turbines, they are increasing every year. The power that you get is uh, much bigger and this is a huge challenge for the structure and for the forces on the structure. We work on the aerodynamics of the flow, in particular in regions close to the uh, hub of the wind turbine, and that is the very thick profiles, and they are needed very thick for the structure, uh, but the flow will separate there, the flow of velocities are low, and we try to investigate mechanisms to keep the flow attached to the blade. So how are we going to get those numbers of turbines out into the sea? Turbines are going to be able to operate efficiently for the next 25 years with minimal intervention. Uh, how are we going to do that? So for example, we're looking at ways we can monitor the turbines to ensure their state of health so we can actually be proactive in terms of how we do maintenance. We're developing ways of controlling the turbines to reduce the loading on the machine so that we can increase the lifetime. Uh, ways of reducing the impact they have on the environment when we actually construct them in the piling stages of the wind farms. What we are doing here in a larger consortium involving Delft, Twente, Wageningen is developing methods, mathematical methods, to compute air flows through these wind farms. Working with formulas with pencil and paper, but also writing computer software, it finally leads to exciting designs where layouts of wind farms, configurations, uh, may be different from what is uh, usual. You are here in the anechoic uh, chamber of our wind tunnel, and here we do a lot of research on noise that is produced by the wind turbine blades. And we experimented quite a lot with serrations, that are, those are small zigzag edges at the trailing edge, which can help to reduce the noise. I think collaboration is essential to advance. Uh, TU Delft, TU Eindhoven, TU Twente. We can have places where they can be trained, we can have uh, exchange students, they can learn in a different environment and they can learn from very professional people that are already there. My dream is that within 20, 30 years from now we will have an energy source which is sustainable, which is uh, scalable, that is available for everybody in the entire world and which is always available 24 hours per day. Wind energy is not yet such a candidate, but perhaps with uh, excellent energy storage systems, we are there. <laughs>